Hello and welcome to the section of the Physics 3 Tutor. Here we begin to discuss uh, something that everybody's heard of and that is the topic of the magnetic field and magnetic forces and how magnets and magnetic fields interact. And I can tell you as a kid playing with magnets for me personally was something that got me interested in science at a really really young age and I think all of us can agree that there's just something magical about magnets. You have a a piece of metal, more or less here, another piece of metal here. You put them together, they attract. If you flip it over, they repel. They can pick up uh, certain metals and, and pull them and, and make them stick to the magnet and attract the, uh, the magnet by, with the magnetic force. Some metals, that it, it works fine. Other metals, they're not magnetic at all. So it's just something about that when you're a kid playing with that just, just for me, tickled the imagination. So here we're going to begin to talk about that from a nuts and bolts fundamental level. Now I'll tell you, the theory of how magnets work and how magnets repel and attract objects is, is pretty well defined. However, when you learn this stuff in physics, you're going to reach a point where if you keep asking why and why and why and why, deeper and deeper and deeper, you're going to get to a point beyond the scope of this class, right? Um, so in other words, I can tell you what the magnetic field is, I can tell you how it attracts and repel, uh, repels metal, right? But then you might ask, well, why does it work that way? Well, then you have to start digging even deeper than a basic physics course. You have to start talking about quantum mechanics and things that are just so far removed from our everyday experience that they become very, very different and very complicated. So, never stop asking questions. And we're going to learn a lot about this stuff, but I guess what I'm trying to tell you is that at the end of the lesson, you still might scratch your head and say, well, why does it work that way? Well, that's sometimes really difficult to answer that question in the scope of a class. We're going to look at the how. The why does it work that way is really a deeper question. All right. So what we're going to do is I'm going to compare and contrast what we've learned, some fundamental things we've learned about the electric field first because we've talked a lot about the electric field. Then we're going to talk about the magnetic field because I want to begin to make the connection in your brain that the electric field and the magnetic field are pretty much intertwined. Um, in fact, they actually come together and form an electromagnetic wave that you'll talk about later. That's a light wave. That's a microwave. That's a, you know, a gamma ray, whatever. They're all electromagnetic waves. So electricity and magnetism, they go hand in hand. And by listing the properties of electric field and magnetic field, I think you'll be able to make that connection. So even without any math, you'll be able to say, wow, that's really neat that nature works that way. All right. So let's first, before we talk about magnetic fields, let's recall for uh, the electric 